Hello, and welcome to your daily writing habit. I'm your host, Christine Whitmarsh, also known as Christine Inc. That's I-N-K, like the stuff you write with. <laughs> Each day, seven days a week, I am sharing with you the writing habits I've learned over my 18 years as a ghostwriter, book coach, and author. I have found that three types of habits in particular can have a huge impact on your success, and those are writing fundamentals, productivity, and mindset habits, and that's what we'll be exploring together here on your daily writing habit. Today, we're touching on the fundamentals, but not specifically writing fundamentals, more of the fundamentals of promoting your book, which may be, it seems like uh, we're getting ahead of ourselves here, especially if you're just starting to write your book, but it's a frequently asked question that I get from authors, even on day one. So I really wanted to address it here. And it's how soon should I start promoting my book? Now, some authors are ready to start promoting it from day one <laughs> uh, in, in way of excitedly sharing about it on Facebook and social media, which kind of poses its own risks. Uh, not so much, you know, copyright, trademark kind of uh, intellectual property protection as much as what I call the unexpected peanut gallery repercussions, the peanut gallery effect of the more you share, just be careful, the more feedback you get that can either potentially, you know, reinforce your idea and encourage you, but sometimes it can send you in different directions, especially as you are just at the beginning and developing your book idea and getting on track. And if you start sharing about it and all your well-intentioned family and friends give you all their opinions, you can see what might happen. So just a little kind of note about that and know you're excited, uh, but just be careful about telling the whole world about your book as you're still formulating in your mind. So I hope that makes sense. Now for other authors, it's the opposite. It doesn't seem to even occur to them to start promoting their book until about a week before it comes out. So that's not that good either. <laughs> so I have a happy medium answer for you for, to this question of how soon should I start promoting my book? Start actively promoting, which also means marketing your book about 90 days out. But before that, start an organic conversation with your readers, organic as in non-salesy, as in just talk to them about the stories and ideas in your book and gauge their interest in it and get them excited about the conversation you'll be having with them as an author. Start that six months out. So my recommendation is you can start promoting 90 days out, but start the conversation at least six months out. But there is something you can do from day one when you are just starting the development and writing of your book. And this doesn't necessarily mean, you know, talk about everything that is going to be in the book, but document the experience of writing your book in as much detail as you're comfortable with. So, you know, again, save the, you know, the story, the key stories and messages and the actual content of the book for when people actually read it. What I'm talking about is documenting the experience as an author that you're having as you're writing your book. The day-to-day -day trials and tribulations, triumphs, challenges, and yes, occasionally you can drop a little content breadcrumb about a story or lesson that readers can expect to see. So that's kind of falls under the starting the organic conversation, but really document your experience as an author because people love the whole behind the scenes stories of everything, basically everything that people are doing that either they can relate to or something that is far outside of their realm of reality. So document the behind the scenes experience. Do this using social media live broadcasts, you know, Instagram live, LinkedIn live, Facebook live, uh, like Instagram stories, uh, YouTube videos, blogs, graphics, however you like. I would suggest, however, creating some sort of singular hub for your author journey, preferably on your website. So you own it. Remember social media, we don't actually own all the stuff we're uploading to Facebook every day. So have this on your website that you actually own. So for instance, you could document your author journey by video, put the videos on YouTube, which is a big driver of search engine traffic, but then make sure you embed them on your website as well. So that's where people can go to get more information, to sign up for your email list about book up updates, things like that. So that's an example of how you can do this. That has been your daily book promoting and documenting habit <laughs> of the day. And in the, midst, in the midst of this, don't forget to keep writing your book. Very important. You need something to actually promote. <laughs> Thank you for joining me here today on your daily writing habit, where I'm helping you solidify your writing habits so you can finish writing an awesome book. And if you know anyone else who's writing a book, please share this with them so they can listen in as well. Until tomorrow, happy writing. <laughs>